Hello there. Um, this is the history of the Farco Bar. When I started out developing the Farco Bar, I had been driving on the interstate. I was expecting a phone call, so I had my cell phone in the plastic cover on the um, tank bag, and I heard the phone ringing, and of course I looked down to see what the, the number was, whether it was the call I was expecting or not, and of course about that time I hit the rumble bars on the side of the interstate. So I thought I got to do something different with all my gadgets. I need to have a way that I can have them mounted. I want them to be charged, but I don't want to leave them on overnight. And so I searched on the internet looking for a way to mount all my gadgets, but be able to easily move them to another bike. So what I came up with was the Farco bar because everyone had anything you can imagine mounted on a motorcycle however it was specific to that particular brand or even model of motorcycle so this was my first version and this uh, was a Farco bar it used ram mounts to mount down to the handlebars and have five mounting positions and has on off switch a security light we have cord storage in the bottom and we had 12 volt cigarette plugs usb had not come out yet we had a single wire that ran back to the battery and it was quite ugly big and bulky so we had to clean it up a bit so i powder coated it. Same thing, but looks a little better, but still very big and bulky. Believe it or not, I just have a few of these and I do sell a few. So I didn't like how big it was and so I came out with, of course, the Farco Bar Light. This is the Farco Bar Light. It again has five balls. The balls actually match the same dimension between the balls as on the other one and the balls can actually be moved from this position to say this position here or underneath you can have balls on the top and the bottom normally you hook on here and here and go down to the bike and the center ball solves another problem with what we developed which is called the power box now this power box actually normally attaches with a short arm to that center ball. The power box has the on-off switch, has security light. I have 12 volt out the sides. The 12 volt uses the gerbing style plug. So if you do want to plug your heated gear in there, you can. But on the back, I have four USB jacks. Now, I needed something better than just water resistant. These are actually hazardous duty jacks. And I do have covers if you want to put them on there, but I've never used them. And they're self-cleaning, so when you plug your uh, plug in and out, uh, the jack cleans itself. I just haven't had trouble, but I did have to pay a lot for those. This box is set, so it includes the ball and um, includes the short arm, and the wire goes back to your battery. So instead of distributing the power at a junction box under the fairing or whatever, why not use that battery tender wire up at the steering hand and to distribute the power right uh, where you need it. Then we can just use short low USB cables to power what you want or we can go with the 12 volt. Now, even that, some people said, I don't like seeing all those bolts and nuts. So there should be another way they can do it. And so then I came up with a bar that we call the Mini. Now, the Mini, you will see, is just a little bit shorter. And I developed that because I had F800 BMW, and it had a smaller cockpit, and so I needed something a little shorter. You'll see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mounting locations, but you can also put balls in on the bottom also, 
And basically you just take this ball and you can just screw it in at any position. And there you go. Well, once I developed the mini, then people said, well, I want the longer bar, but I like the way the mini looks. So then, of course, I had to come out with the Farkle Bar 2.0. Basically same concept, but you'll notice there's 11 holes top and bottom So you can have a total of 22 balls on on this. I haven't had anybody do that, but um, It would be possible the advantage of having all these different Mounting locations is you can easily move the balls to a location that It does not block your instruments Generally, the center is left pretty open, with the exception, many people still put the power box in the center, underneath, um, and um, that seems to work really quite well. So, as I said, that's still too bulky. So now, we have the Farco Bar 3.0, which we call the Skinny, and you can see that it's much thinner than what we had before. Again, it has 11 holes, but because this is only 3 eighths of an inch thick, we cannot mount a ball on the top and the bottom simultaneously in the same hole. However, that still allows you 11 mounting positions, which for most uh, are plenty. The bars are sold separately, and the balls are sold separately, so you can buy just exactly what you need. Now, that is a basic history of the Farkle Barn. Thank you very much.